Hey guys, it's Alice and today we are going to be making slime. I personally love making slime so I'm very excited to show you guys how I make slime and a really fun cute summery beach slime. So and you can use any slime recipe that you want and that you use if you already know one that you've been using for years or even for a few months. If there's a slime recipe you know and like and have the ingredients for, totally use yours. My slime recipe is Elmer's glue, shaving cream, and saline solution. If you have a different method for slime, totally do not hold back on using it. So what you're needing is your ingredients. You need blue foam beads, which are optional, gold glitter, which is optional, blue dye, green dye, which is optional, and yellow dye. So you start off by just making your slime. I use this recipe, so I'm gonna pour in my glue, pour in my shaving cream, and then I'm going to stir. And then once you've mixed it, add in your saline solution. And then keep mixing until you have your proper slime. If you're using this recipe, you can add more saline and more shaving cream. Shavy cream, if you add more of it, less of a stretchy texture, more of a fluffy texture. Okay, so now that you have a plain white slime that is totally activated, you just want to divide it in half. You can take one half and just set it aside. You are definitely going to need it very soon. So then you can choose if you're going to do the ocean part right now or the sand. I am going to do the ocean right now, so I'm going to take my yellow dye and put it away. Now I take my blue dye one, two, three dots of blue, and one dot of green. This part might get your hands a little messy, so if you don't want to get your hands messy, you can make two slimes beforehand instead of one, and as you're making the slime, you can dye it that. This will make a nice oceany color because it has blue and green, and the ocean is not a perfect blue, even if it is clear. It has a teeny bit of green in it, this is a very vibrant blue. If you want a more toned down blue, you can use a darker shade. I really wanted a vibrant one and I'm very happy with how this one came out. Okay, so once you have your blue slime totally dyed and mixed in, take out your other slime and literally just dye it yellow. If you want it to be a darker color, I recommend you add a little bit of orange, but I want mine to be so, so vibrant. So I'm going to keep it with all the yellow. Okay, so once you have your blue slime, your yellow slime, your foam beads, optional, and your glitter, which is also optional, you get out your container that you're going to keep the slime in. Mine has a little bit of shade of cream in it, so this is also what I made then. Start off, take the yellow, and put it on one side of the container. Take the blue, put it on the other side of the container. And slowly use your hands just to shape it out a teeny bit. And then let it just rest for a little bit. Let it melt into your... So then essentially, you have the colors of a beach. Then if you want to take it to the next level, you take your gold glitter, and you tap it out over the yellow to make grains of sand. It's okay if a little bit of sand gets in the ocean because there's always a little bit of sand at the bottom of the ocean. So when you open up your foam beads, this also could be blue glitter if you want. Pour a teeny, teeny, teeny bit in, and that makes your bubbles. And then you have a beach. This slime, when you mix it together, it'll make like a sea foam looking green, which is perfect because it goes along with the beach. Here is a closer up on the beach slime. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like slime. And I hope you guys have a ton of fun playing with it. Bye!